What up, y'all? Bankroll Tim, Better Up Customs. Sunday, 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 Sunday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Up in the shop, putting these 24 eight inch lip billets, billet specialty on this short bed Chevy. So, I already had a set of axles, Reese blind, did that the other week. We got another set of axles. Had them cut down Reese blind because we were going four inches, four inches shorter. Um, yes, you can have it done as long as you go more than four inches, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, so <clears throat> four inches puts us a little bit into the leaf spring. So I'm about to cut or take the rivets out of the bracket and I'm gonna move the bracket up underneath that frame. I haven't figured it all out yet, but I'm about to figure it out. That's why it's custom. It's all custom. Everybody thinks this uh, this stuff is just so simple to do, and why don't you get this done faster? And blah blah blah. You must not be working. I'm working. Every day working. So here's what we did. Took the rear end completely out the truck. Got the center and all that out of it. Obviously, because I gotta put the bar in it anyways. Anytime you guys are pulling the gears out or anything like that, keep your caps marked left, right, up, bottom, top, bottom, whatever. The shims, the the races for the bearings, all that. Keep everything separate so you don't mix it up. I've had rear ends coming before the main caps would be on upside down or backwards, this and that, and crazy, crazy shit. But yes, work, work, work. A couple of months ago, we did the C-notch, bolt-in C-notch and all that, and the drop kit, the flip kit, all that. So, uh, the front, to cut the bracket off, but you can see here, this nice flat area on top. So I can just cut this, once I get off, I can put this underneath the frame and weld it to it, because I gotta be under. Then I can put angle brackets back on it for the piece, because it doesn't have to be completely under, I just gotta be, uh, inch and a half more in for everything to work so of course the spring perch is on the rear end as you can see here I already cut the end off I got enough material on the end got enough material on the end weld it back on and then the backing plate bolts still go through there so got the first cut off there I need to get this off so I've already written down my measurements. This is on an angle, you know, and then this is the greed. I got the rear end welded to the bench. Just so, you know, everything's square, everything, whatever. The bar and the pucks go in and of course, to put the ends back on. We're gonna get rid of this, which was originally the bump stop uh, mount, as in the bump stop goes to the frame and then it's here, but we're seeing now so we got rid of the bump stops. So we need this off of here. This perch is gonna be moved in an inch and a half. So I gotta cut this off, move it in. Then I can make my second cut here to get rid of the four inches. When I get rid of the four inches here, obviously I left an inch on the back of that. So I'll be over here in the five inch mark. So probably an inch in here, but anyways, this it's got to go over an inch and a half. It's got to stay in the same position. So I got to do a lot of marking, whatever, to get it. So I got to get this piece off first. So we, uh, I never look at jobs as being little and simple because uh, you start looking at jobs being little and simple, and next thing you know, uh, you run into a lot of problems and you're getting pissed off, which I get pissed off all the time. I got, I'm short fused. So anyways, trying to get it all done. Sunday, and then I got some other cars to finish up this week, and we're hopefully gonna get that car, the 71, switched to this lift and get the frame off of it. So the frame can go to CPC, get blasted, get coated, and then come back, and we can set it back under there, mount it up, put all the suspension on it, and then it can go to PC. So we can get whatever done, it's gonna get done, painted, underbody painted, everything. And then after that, obviously, it's going to go get the motor put in it. And then it'll be back for some adjustments. But that, that's obviously going to be a minute. Um, 
try to get these toes, or at least the rear end notched, or not the rear end notched, frame notched on the Sebastian Chevy. So we started making some more cuts to get the bottom piece of the toe out of there. So that way we can notch it. So hopefully we can get this notched this week too. I got the white Firebird next door, which is just a rear end narrow. Try to get that one done and gone. And yeah. So anyways, I'm gonna be working on this till later tonight and probably be finishing it tomorrow, tomorrow evening, cause like I said, there's a lot of little things that come into play with narrowing. Now, if it was a seven inch lip, I wouldn't have to move cause we'd only be, you know, narrowing it three inches on each side, but eight inch lip, you know, if you're gonna do it, do it, you know? Uh, yeah. So as you can see, a lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of work. People think everything is so simple. And then for you guys that are like, oh, why don't you just put a four link in it? We didn't want to put a four link in it. We didn't want to spend the money on a four link. So, better up customs, custom with a K, custom is, with the K is custom, and everything we do is custom. Again, not a parts changer. If I end up changing parts, <laughs> I do something custom to make it custom. <laughs> but yeah, so. As you know, this thing in the front is a 22, the back's a 24, and then the front, we already had it low. That was the rub marks from before. We actually, he sent the wheels back in and had them move the wheel offset. So it moved the whole face forward, gave it a smaller lip, which made it clear the fender up there. So now it doesn't do that no more. There's a a cup deal that came with these it's like a i don't know some type of plastic thing that went in with this kit we're going to end up taking that out so that way we can set the truck on the ground the back obviously will be on the ground as low as we can possibly get it we don't have to tub it because the wheels are 24 it fits all the way up in there it's not even going to hit the lip um we're totally clear of that we'll have a half inch behind the wheel half inch in front of the wheel to here Oh, it would be good. Uh, 28 inch, going on off. Uh, the two door blue Chevy next door, that's uh, Candyman's. You probably didn't want me to say that, but I said it. <laughs> Try to get that thing knocked out for him. Uh, he's been waiting a while. So I get that knocked out. And then we got the white Bonneville, well, hopefully I can get that one set up by the weekend. The Grand Prix out there leaking fuel everywhere. The Monty, oh yeah, yeah. So, Dexter's Monty, I gotta get. Form the tubs, do the back frame stuff. So I'll have that one, try my best to have that one done because it's the lower job than the rest. I forgot about it for a second. So don't quote me on everything. Don't take everything to heart that I say. And I'm, I'm in here working, working, working. Taking my days off and working, trying to get caught up. And yeah. Better up custom, bankroll Tim, the business, the crew. We'll see how good everything goes this week. That's a clean ass little truck. Fat ass lips. If you want to do it, do it. Eight inches of lip. It looks even deeper being a 24. But alright y'all, that's what I got time for right now. Uh, I'll do a little more on the rear end. Get the get it all cut off, cleaned up, and uh, let you guys know. But yeah, better have a cousin bank on 10. Appreciate it. Subscribe, share, like, whatever. And if you don't, cool. Alright, y'all.